Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Games from Scratch, and today I should call this the ongoing series of Epic Games giving developers free stuff, because it's just, I don't know, I do at least two or three of these videos a month it seems, where Epic Games just gives developers free stuff, and today we have even more of that with their online services getting two major new features. Now this is a story that took a little bit of time to develop, and we're going to go through it from the beginning. First off, back in October of 2018, Epic Games acquired Kamu anti-cheat software. These uh, make anti-cheat software for programs such as Vermintide 2 Dragon Ball Fighters, Paladins, Far Cry 5, and more. Uh, and that was kind of a strange pickup. Uh, that slowly started making more sense over time, especially today. Uh, on top of that, in December of uh, 2018, they announced free cross-platform online services. Now, they, they offered a whole lot of stuff at the time. So we were going to get, and this wasn't just specifically to uh, Unreal Engine. You could also use it with Unity. Uh, there was a CSDK if we were implementing this in your own game engine of choice. And we were going to get cross-platform login friends and so on, uh, PC, Mac overlay, cross-platform voice comms uh, coming in 2019. We'll get back to that. Uh, cross-platform parties and matchmaking, cross-platform data storage, cloud saves, and achievements and trophies. Now, some of these things didn't quite make it on time. In fact, in May of 2019, we've got a bit of a delay of a few things. They updated their, their storage thing. Uh, basically, some of those things just did not happen quite on schedule. Uh, however, in May of 2020, so a year later, we did get the official launch of online services. So there was definitely a delay and not everything such as voice chat made it into that initial shipment. But you see here, we got things like uh, game services, which is where you do lobbies, achievements, leaderboards, analytics, that kind of stuff. And the uh, cross-platform account logins was also there as well. Now, one thing that you should always be a little cautious about is when someone is giving you something for free, what's in it for them? That is a question you should always ask. As the old saying goes, if you don't know what the product is, you are the product. And so I actually reached out to Tim Sweeney about this uh, back about a year ago, and I basically said, could you explain what Epic gets out of this? And then uh, the first part was a bit of a spiel. It's basically when developers choose to use their services, all developers get. It's kind of like a rising tide raises all boats, blah, blah, blah. But the second one is more... Uh, more interesting. It's Epic has lots of revenue streams from engine, from games, from store, from Quixel scans. Having more users ultimately contributes to all of these businesses growing. Even customers who never spend money contribute to its success through their engagement with those who do. So what they're saying basically is if you start using all these various different services, more people will in fact buy games that they sell on the Epic Game Store. So more people will make games, in which case they will use Unreal Engine or they will use Quixel Mega Scans and so on. So basically Epic's approach to this is if the world of game development becomes a better place, they'll make more money. And it's kind of hard to argue with that. That's kind of a mix of like altruism and reality in there as well. So all of this comes back to today's announcement. There are two new online services launching in part of uh, Epic's online service or Unreal Engine online services here. So the two Epic online services that were added, first one is Voice, a platform independent solution that connects your community with in-game voice chat across all stores and platforms. Um, and on top of that is offering the industry leading anti-cheat solution to all developers for free. Easy anti-cheat is a powerful feature uh, necessary for smooth running of any online game with players on PC. These services empower developers to launch, operate, and scale great games like never before. Operating voice comms and anti-cheat is in popular online games can cost millions of dollars. By offering these online services to everyone for free, we aim to empower more developers to build cross-platform games, serving their own player communities, and grow the industry. Uh, so voice is the first one. A free cross-platform service for developers to offer in-game voice chat functionality to their players across all major desktop console and mobile platforms using any major game engine on the market. That's one of those things I have to admire about Epic Games. They don't lock it down and force you into using Unreal Engine. You want to use Unity? You can use Unity. You want to use Godot? You can use Godot. In fact, uh, Epic Games actually gave a grant to Godot's development. Uh, so prior to release, uh, voice was battle tested on Fortnite. Service has proven to be supercharged to supercharge engagement and provide high quality, stable, fast, and efficient voice functionality at massive scale. Fortnite has seen a peak of 15.3 million concurrent players. We're excited to make voice available for developers to offer to their communities within their games. Uh, connections are established between authenticated users and relayed through the Epic Online Services backend servers. Uh, Epic Online Services handles all the scaling, quality of service, maintenance, multi-region presence, and other machinery of voice services. Now this is again kind of killer because there's some companies out there this is their business model and that's kind of be scary to be one of those things that suddenly you're competing against a free alternative. Um, service 
uh, seamlessly integrates with Epic's online services lobbies, enabling voice conferencing for members of your lobbies. And then we've got the anti-cheat. Uh, again, they were acquired back in 2018. Service is now free for developers to protect their PC games against hacking and cheating. Uh, as a well-established brand with nearly a decade of experience serving over 100 online games uh, worldwide, Easy anti-cheat can be trusted to handle millions of users at peak time. Uh, it's a long-standing scalable system continu continually evolve and enable all games to benefit from the new cheat prevention and detection techniques as discovered and developed for any game under its protection. Uh, it runs in the background and prevents common cheating techniques as a robust and ever-evolving first line of defense. In addition to the prevention capabilities, cheats are detected by cross-checking a large database of known cheat techniques alongside machine learning processes. Accounts using detected cheats are then listed in the uh, Epic Online Service is developer portal enabling you to act as you see fit. That's kind of actually interesting because if you are running a different game and someone is linked to their Epic Games account and gets caught as a cheater, you could actually look them up in a completely different game and go, oh, this person's scum and act according. Now, it's also going to make a false positive that much more painful if it happens. And they do happen. And I don't know what the uh, appeal process is like with them, but uh, interestingly enough uh, approach to things here. So uh, with a range of self-service tools at the fingertips, developers get direct control of anti-cheat enforcement, adjustable uh, at the click of a button, test and deploy security updates when they suit your game's development schedule. Service seamlessly integrates with um, Epic's online service, player sanctions, and player reports. So again, uh, you don't have to do, do enforcement there, but you can. And it's going to make the stakes, especially if more people get into using these services, uh, it's going to make the stakes of being a cheater quite high. And you know what? In the world of PC gaming, nothing ruins faster than cheating. So I'm, I'm kind of on the side here, but I do hope they deal with false positives well, because that is obviously the biggest gotcha. You don't want to be completely blacklisted from, you know, Know, sort of like Valve Anti-Cheat. You can get yourself in a lot of trouble there. Um, also, if you are interested in learning more, head on over here to the Getting Started page. Uh, this is online services in general. Uh, so we've got a number of different features now in here. And so I guess we've just added voice and anti-cheat here. Again, you have a unified different log, a unified log in there, cross-platform between uh, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, Facebook, Google, Apple, uh, for now, Steam, and Epic uh, Game store, a uh, number of different platforms this works on. Uh, you've got, what all do we have in here? We got matchmaking, we've got um, matchmaking lobbies, cheating, uh, voice comms, data storage, the, pretty much everything you need to do anything online is part of the Epic Online Services now. And you see here it works on Unreal, Unity, Lumberyard, Godot, uh, Okay, and also this is kind of a mix of game engine supported as well as um, platform supported, so it does get a little confusing at that point in time. Uh, but given the fact that it's you know C, C++ and C sharp based SDKs on the back end, it, it can pretty much be implemented even in your own uh, particular engine out there. Now, if you're interested a little bit more about the whole, uh, what did they get out of it? Now, this one is kind of bleh. So here's where the catch is. There is no catch. We build many of these services for Fortnite and now uh, operating at enormous economies of scale. And we also rely on these services for the Epic Game Store. Now we are happy to offer these services to game developers for free with the goal of encouraging wider adoption of all of Epic's uh, offerings and making cross-platform, cross-progression and other open and interconnected online features more accessible to everyone. Uh, you know what? They've been talking the talk and walking the walk for a very long time. Eventually, you're just going to have to believe them on this one. They do seem to quite literally want to have an open ecosystem and they they putting their money where their mouth is on this one plus basically there's a little bit of a shot here at, at the likes of the microsoft online store and of course the apple store and google services and all that stuff what they're saying here is hey we run this stuff on fortnite and it costs us so little money we can give it away for free so these people charging you x for it are screwing you and that's kind of what they're saying in a in a roundabout way here and it's interesting all the same so uh if you are interested in checking out the documentation it will be here i will link this in the linked article down below so if you want to jump in and get to the hands-on uh, this is where it starts getting quite technical uh, there are a number of different samples out there so you got things like authentication achievement session management lobby samples peer-to-peer -peer networking or sorry uh, natting um, we've got um, player data storage title storage sample I'm not really sure what the difference is there uh, leaderboards store sample mod sample uh, and then uh, Android and iOS specific we got details on how to actually set up the SDKs and what you need and then you break down you've got all the various different individual pieces available over here it's uh, the epic online services are getting to become a pretty comprehensive set of online um, tools I'm not sure that your game really requires anything beyond that now there is obviously a downside here uh, beyond you know your trust or like or dislike or whatever of Epic Games. This is sort of like when uh, Amazon Web Services goes down, you get all kinds of problems. Well, if uh, 
if online servers at um, uh, Epic Games go down, it's problematic for sure. Uh, you're going to have a wide scale amount of out outages. And that's one of the downsides of having, you know, uh, one ring to rule them all kind of scenario here is if that one ring gets lost, there's a lot of ramifications, but we're kind of getting there more and more. You know, we're seeing that when we see um, a DC, a DCCs go down or when we see, again, Amazon's virtual infrastructure go down, that kind of stuff. It just takes down a swath of the internet with it. You can kind of have that with online, Epic Online services. If they go down, a lot of games are going to be impacted as well. But on the flip side is they seem to be pretty good at staying up. So, uh, you know, outages happen, uh, but they seem to be pretty good at staying online. Uh, be interested to hear what you think of this. So we've got two new online services from Epic Games, uh, Easy Anti-Cheat and then Voice Comps. Again, there's some companies out there that this is literally their business and that's gotta suck. Uh, but let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.